Welcome back everyone and today we will take a look at a new Microsoft Word lab Today we will discuss lab 5 uh, We will need two files to get started with this lab We need the instructions for the lab 5 instructions and we need the starting uh, file for this lab Are you ready to get started with Word lab 5? Yes, if you are ready you should have two documents open side by side as we have learned in the, pa in the past so going up here, uh, it says that we will uh, cover a clip art, a image format, multiple columns, insert column break, and then use uh, bullets and uh, format uh, paragraphs. So let's go ahead and uh, look at the starting uh, file. Uh, just give me a minute here to get this file uh, ready and once we are ready we will start with the instructions section in the instructions it says open the uh, word lab 5 i already did and then save it as you go to file and then save it as word lab 5 and then it change the text of the first line to center so i will select the first line it change the alignment to center make it bold and then make it all uppercase you go here and then choose uppercase and then uh, make the color fill the color fill dark blue which is this one here dark blue so that's basically what you need to do for uh, the first uh, part by the way if you try to apply dark blue and it doesn't apply it to the entire line you can insert a border around this uh, line I'm not going to cover that now but by uh, finishing the reading and watching the video you should be able to know how to insert a border like that but if it if it's like exactly like I'm doing it right now uh, you don't have to uh, insert a border uh, alright no, le now let's go look at number 4 change the text in the second line so I will uh, uh, select the second line and then make it uh, center uh, and then uh, make it all uppercase and then make it bold the size to be 16 size 16 and then size 16 one more time and then uh, the uh, font built MT. all right everyone Let's look at uh, number 5. Highlight the remaining text and then apply the no spacing style. You will highlight all of the remaining text all the way down. Uh, Control A will not work this time because I need only to apply the no spacing to the uh, remaining text. No spacing now, I don't have any uh, spaces in the text below uh, this section. Computer. Uh, software especially and then we have some uh, text below it all right so now it says here highlight the remaining text apply no spacing we already finished that bold the heading of each paragraph as shown in the sample solution below so there is a sample solution here and it's telling you here bold the header of each paragraph so our program uh, opportunities for employment opportunities for advancement special consideration and then first year first semester second year second year and then third semester fourth semester and then graduation you need to bold all of these uh, elements so to do that since i have many uh, uh, many things that i need to select from an easy way to do that you, you click on the first one to select it which is about our program all right so now I selected the first uh, header now you scroll down and then or you, what you can do you can make these bolds as you see it here and then double click on the uh, format painter and then keep pasting the format or applying the format from the format painter to the remaining headers opportunities for employment and then special uh, special consideration and then first year first semester 
a lot easier right or you can uh, press control you select the first one and then press control and keep selecting each header and then you apply bold to all of them but this is going to be uh, uh, a little bit challenging especially if you lose the selection you will have to repeat that again so now let's go to uh, second year or second semester in the first year okay now uh, we have here graduation I know that we have to select graduation and then fourth semester then where is third semester here second year third semester perfect perfect so once you are done with all of your uh, selection what you need to do you need to press escape on the keyboard now let's go back I already uh, uh, logged at the assemble solution now I will go up here as shown change the page layout to two column with line between so I need to change the uh, page here starting from here I will select all of the remaining text and then page layout and then I will go to column and then I will choose two right I have line in between because I configured that from before but in your scenario you will need to go to columns and then click on more columns and you will choose to and make sure that line in between is selected and you can even change the spacing so please everyone make sure that you select the text you don't apply it to the entire document only to the selected text as you see it in the video uh, right now Okay, uh, highlight bold the remaining header of each paragraph and then it change the page layout to two columns with line in between change the page layout let me add here change the page layout below the title to the text below the title so when you work on this lab you know exactly what you need to uh, finish the title is computer uh, software one second software uh, specialist perfect so I now uh, let me do one more thing here I change the line spacing to a single so I will select this entire text here all the way down and then I will go to home and then click on line spacing single it is single already so now I don't have to make any changes because it is already single uh, now it says here and then the first line of each paragraph by quarter of an inch and justify all paragraphs so uh, as you can see here if you if you go look at the demo solution you need to indent and justify but I will update this because just the justify is not showing here so I will come to the first paragraph here select this first paragraph right now I will go to the dialog launcher or the launcher dialog whatever you want to call it and then you go to special line and then 0.25 quarter of an inch and then click OK right and then you use uh, justify so justify now look at the paragraph you copy this using the format painter and then you apply it to that paragraph below it but leave the title alone don't change anything that has to do with the header okay leave the header alone of each paragraph and then I will do that okay well I, I lost the format painter so I need to double click on it so I keep it with me and then I keep applying that to this section I apply that to this uh, paragraph too but I need to make sure
you know what let me do it for the entire thing here I will select and then go all the way to finish this paragraph now look it's working now why because I selected the entire paragraph uh, you don't really need to do anything with the uh, actual uh, course name here I will just press escape now let's read the instructions here okay here uh, insert and then the first line of each uh, paragraph by quarter an inch and justify as as shown in the sample solution I think that's fair right so you look at the sample solution you know that you you need to indent the first line of the this is one paragraph two and then uh, three paragraphs three paragraphs so let's make it one two three one two three four one two three four paragraphs so I will say here uh, change okay and then the first line of the first four paragraphs so now you know that you need to do it for the first for change the first line of the first uh, four uh, paragraphs all right by quarter of an inch and justify as shown in the sample uh, solution insert a column break before special consideration heading so where is special consideration heading you need to scroll down here is a special consideration consideration heading so you click at the beginning of it and then you go to page layout and then you click on break and then you choose column break that will shift this whole paragraph to the second uh, column are we good perfect perfect insert a column break before the special consideration uh, heading let me bold it here so you know exactly what I am talking about special consideration uh, heading now change the font size of each paragraph content to 10 so uh, let me go to home here I need to change the font size for this paragraph to Or actually do you know what just leave it leave it 11 uh, because that's that's exactly what I need so I will go ahead and uh, remove this bullet because it is 11 now so this is 11 the second one is 11 and uh, it looks exactly uh, as I am showing you in the sample solution so I will go ahead and uh, remove this bullet from here you don't need to do it uh, insert a blank line before the first year so insert a blank line before first year I already have a blank line before uh, first year perfect so if you don't have it for example if, if, it, if it looks like that you need to make sure that there is a blank line before first year so now I have it so I don't need to do it anymore and do you know what let's just take this off so that makes your instructions uh, less and you can finish the lab quicker add a ported list for classes offered in each uh, semester so this is the these are the classes offered in that semester so I will uh, select it and then bulleted list now I will use the for, uh, format painter and then I will apply that to this section apply that to this section and then come down here apply that to this section alright so now do you see what is happening I already lost lost what my column jump to the second page and I don't need that so let's go back here that's why in the instructions uh, it says please make sure that you change the text to 
11 so I will undo here and bring back the uh, font size to 10 so if I go back here and change the font size to 10 that will fix this issue so I will select the first paragraph change the font size to uh, 10 I will do the same thing for this one here and then I will go ahead and select this uh, one as well and make it uh, 10 and then come here you keep applying the font size or you can click on the small icon here same thing here you need to change that to 10 so now look at my page it looks much be much better now and it should fit in only one column as you see right now now change this also to 10 now I got it back that's why this item was there which means that you need to change the font of each paragraph to uh, be uh, 10 points insert a blank line before the first already already took care of that so there is a blank line so I don't need to insert it uh, again add a bulleted list for classes offered in each semester so we already did that uh, then change the zoom level to 60 so I will go ahead and uh, change the zoom to 60 so I can see the entire uh, document or page now insert a graduation clip art at the bottom of the first column so I will go to uh, insert and then online picture and then I will type here graduation and then uh, press enter uh, you pick uh, any one of your choice right uh, in my scenario here I will choose the second one here simpler easier and then I will move it to the uh, here to the bottom of the first column now please make sure that you click on this layout option and then you choose surround text now make sure that you drag it position it I need you to change the size to be one and a half by one and a half 1.5 by 1.5 but make sure that the clip art is selected now I have this image now look I can move it anywhere inside my uh, documents so insert the graduation art one and a half by one and a half apply the plastic wrap artistic effect so you need to go to artistic effect and then look for a plastic wrap you need to uh, go over them until you see the name that is mentioned so where is plastic wrap not this one marker pencil you keep moving until you find it that's how you create a good well formatted uh, file you can also use this technique for example in the future if you need to create a menu for a restaurant now you know how to uh, create I think that's it this is it plastic wrap yes perfect so now I have the plastic wrap effect and the reason for choosing uh, a style or artistic effect like that so you can look at the options that you can use inside Microsoft Word to uh, change the uh, image and in the lecture if you watch the lecture for Microsoft Word you will notice that that was covered uh, completely now save and upload Word Lab 5 to Blackboard now uh, I need to save this file and then upload it uh, to Blackboard everyone please and uh, that takes us to the end of this lab I hope you did learn something new today I uh, will see you in future labs thank you everyone